Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel, Juice and Foods. I'm the Juice and Foodie. If you're new here, welcome. Please hit the subscribe button and also the bell notification so you're the first to know anytime I upload a new video. And to my returning loyal subscribers, thank you guys for watching my videos, liking and leaving comments. I really appreciate it. Be blessed. Today, I'm going to be showing you some of the different mangoes I've tasted this mango season. In the market, I spotted up to 10 varieties or 10 species of mangoes. Up to date, however, I have tasted about eight different types. And today, I'm going to be showing you just seven different types. They're all great in their own right and have unique tastes. Man, it was such a hassle to get the exact names of these mangoes. In the market, depending on the vendor, they would call it different names. However, I've tried and I think I have the names now, so just bear with me. Okay, let's start with the first one. This is the biggest one out of all. It's actually a foreign uh, mango. It was brought here and grown here, so it's basically just foreign. A family friend of ours brought it to our house. He actually grows these mangoes. He's a farmer and he got the seeds from outside. They're imported seeds. And this was the result. This is the mango. It's very big, very fleshy, and it's good for juice. The next one is called Julie or Jama mango. It is the second biggest out of this group. It has a very distinct taste and of course has this really yellow color on the outside when it's ripe. It is sweet and has somewhat of a softer flesh and it's also good for juice as well. The third one is Jekoyo Mango. You guys should know this one. A few weeks ago, I did a remake of my first YouTube video using these mangoes. If you remember, the literal translation of the name is Eat So You Can Be Full. It is fleshy and sweet and has a nice tang to it. It is the best for juicing as well. Also, it doesn't completely change color like the Julie or the Jama Mango when it's ripe. It usually just has little orange or yellow patches. The next one is a variety of the Jekoyo mango. It has a sort of peach color. It has a very pungent taste. It is usually not very sweet, but it catches your attention because of its uh, unique or interesting color. Next up is the Palaba mangoes. They're very common. They're sweet, good for juice, and good to be eaten just as they are. They're usually red, orange, or yellow in color when they're ripe. They contain a lot of fiber and roughage. Next up is the Olomi mango. Even from the name Olomi meaning it has a lot of water. It is a watery mango. It is soft and sweet and sticky and the skin turns bright yellow with black dots when it is ripe. It is better to eat it as is than to juice it. Last but not least in this video is the cherry mango. It has a strong green color on the skin with tinges of orange or yellow when it's ripe. It is extremely sweet, although some parts of it may have a strong citrus taste. Also, it doesn't have too much fiber and it's better to just eat it as is. Now I'm going to be cutting open the mangoes. I want you guys to see them. Uh, they may look the same on camera. However, like I said before, they each have their own distinct taste. Thanks for watching guys, do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't and stay tuned, I'm going to be using all these variety of mangoes to make a fantastic mango punch drink in my next video. 
click the recommended video. Ciao, ciao.